it all started I saw it and I was not really sure I saw it sitting up there and wasn't really sure about what I was looking at and first couple times I uh, stayed on it and uh, second third film I was grabbing still photos off the films grabbing frames and uh, pulled one up where the sphere underneath it and another one and a third one and the two had a line going to it, it looked like a, like a three prong fork uh, once I pulled that up I knew that um, I would estimate that more than 30 and less than 50 times which I had seen this uh, object uh, materialize. I can remember there was one uh, that, that uh, when it appeared, it was uh, it appeared so so solid and so strong. It wasn't smaller. It was just massive. I, I was, and I watched it. I watched it. It just once again, it's like going through this invisible door. I, I don't really know how to explain it or uh, break it down as to how it's able to do it, but I, I know what I've seen. And, uh, same camera through the entire 172 uh, encounters. It's um, just a very simple 30 optical Panasonic mini DV, nothing fancy. It's, uh, it's it's done pretty well. Nothing nothing too great. Thirty optical, but this is the camera. I'd shot it anywhere from eighty above to about twelve below. Uh, on those low temperatures, it remember I can remember it would start acting up on me. So I would either, and I don't wear gloves when I when I was shooting, as you can tell, it'd be too difficult. And I would just I would just be shaken. It'd be so cold, I'd be shaken. There was a plane here, and there was a plane here. You know, the flight path where they were gonna cross it at pretty much one point, and, and uh, it's in the middle. I can I, I had a visual on it. Here come the planes. And, uh, I reached down to the bag and zip the bag and reach in to grab the camera like this and I can and I see it blink. It goes poof, 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 poof. it was gone. Just like that. Or the planes cross. Or I get out of out of pretty much distance and I'm s i am I can remember I'm scrambling, uh, trying to figure out what happened and where it went because it, it it just like a uh, blink in light. And then it was in a different direction. I have seen up to two at once. Uh, I have a film in which there was one by a tree waiting for the one that I was filming. Uh, I didn't see it. I was on the one and was following it. And, um, it was hanging off a branch, and, uh, sitting there. Uh, 
I had, there was one encounter in which I was filming. Um, the object had already gone by, way out of my range. Uh, about 15, 20 minutes later, uh, walked out and looked up and it was right there. I, that, I can still see that. I mean, it was just right there. Um, there are times that I feel that it it appears or it shows up and it waits. It'll wait. Um, this is from experience. Uh, like it, it waits to be seen. Um, I also know for a fact that um, it only allows. Uh, I'm trying to think how I can say this. It only allows certain eyes to be able to see it, if that makes any sense. Uh, this is known from experience and uh, did some tests. Uh, I have had six separate, six individual separate people that have watched it while, while I was filming it. They are all uh, professionals in their fields. shot many, many times where I would catch it in between the trees, I'd catch it in a spot in between the trees, and that one would just be whipping, just howling, and just sit there, just sit here. And the description of those films, I believe, uh, towards the last one, because I was able to get it in that spot uh, for a lengthy amount of time, and to where the viewer could hear the wind, and when I fight angled, they could see the trees moving. It would help me to realize that, that um, this object is intelligently controlled, or it would not be able to sit there like that. After so many, I, I actually would hide and, and wait to see where it was coming from. Uh, the first 20, 30 encounters, I would hide but I would, I would catch it coming over me. I would be behind something. And then after that, I, I started thinking, well, I need to figure out a way to be able to see where it's coming from uh, before it can see me. Uh, I have numerous times I would see it and uh, it would come right up to me and I'd, I'd be on my back. I'm always on my back. I use my body as leverage to try to position the camera and I'd be on my back and, and it, it would go this way and then it would just start heading right towards me many times. Uh, when it swells like that, and, and it does swell, um, that's usually when it would either be changing directions or picking up speed. Shoot. Sure.